Hey kids, welcome to STEM. Uh, my name is Mr. Demetrio. Some of you may have had me, some of you may have not. In this video, I'm going to give you a first assignment and I'm going to go over how to submit work. And uh, it should be pretty short and pretty easy. For anybody who hasn't had me, here's my name, Mr. Demetrio. And this class is STEM, which is short for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. And we'll talk about that briefly in a second. Now you should all be in my classroom by now, and there may be, should be just one assignment, the one that you're looking at. Now, when you're in my class, if you want to submit work, what you have to do is go up here into classwork, right? And you go to one of these assignments, and you view assignment, and then you hit add. And if you saved something like a Google Doc, then it's probably going to be on your Google Drive, right? So you're going to click Google Drive and go find it. If you saved it to your computer, then it's going to be in a yellow folder. It's going to be a file, so you're going to click on this, right? So I click Google Drive, right? And then you go and you look, here's my drive. You can kind of dig through. You can go to most recent if you just made it, right? If not, you can go into any of these folders and find whatever's there. Uh, these are old folders from when I taught chemistry. All right, uh, so that's how you submit your assignments. Uh, make sure you turn them in on here. Make sure it says turned in on here. Whatever the assignment is, even if you're not actually turning something in on here, make sure you click turned in so that I know. But usually you're going to be adding something like this. All right, so that's uh, that part. So what's your first assignment? So uh, STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Math. Uh, if you are a 6th grader and 6th, 7th, and 8th, you're all going to get the same video. So here comes your assignment. So if you're a 6th grader, what you're going to do is you're going to try and ask three people. And I know you have phones. I'm sure you have access to people. So you're going to ask either your parents or any other grown-ups why you should learn about STEM. And I want three different answers. So you need to ask three grown-ups why should I learn about STEM. And if they say because it's good, then ask why is it good. Because I want a full sentence answer. You can text your grandma, your grandpa, your uncle, your aunt. You can connect to people on Facebook. You can ask Ariana Grande on Instagram or whatever you want to do. I don't care. Find three famous people. If, not three famous people. Find three grown-ups and ask them what it, uh, why you should learn about STEM. I want one sentence for each. And then you're going to write it, type it on a doc. Make sure your name is on there. Don't ever submit anything to me with only your first name. I don't know who you are. I don't care that you're the only kid named John in the entire country. It doesn't matter. Put your last name on it. If you turn something into me with only a first name, I will th delete it immediately, and I will never accept late work for that assignment. Put your last name and your first name on your assignments and your period, because I got 160 kids. I don't know where you're from, and the date. Okay, so three sentences. Why should you learn about STEM from three grown-ups? Well, three full sentence answers. If you are a seventh grader, you're going to tell me how can STEM help with your future. You're going to go research it on the internet. You're going to write me one paragraph. Let's call a paragraph five sentences. Don't be lazy. Don't write four. If it's hard, try to write six or seven. Uh, I don't know. That makes sense in my mind. Maybe it didn't really make sense. Anyway, five sentences. Why? How STEM will help you with your future. If you're an eighth grader. Your assignment's going to be a little bit different. I want you to go find jobs that relate to STEM. So you can go on, let's say, monster.com. It doesn't have to be monster.com. You can pick any one. And pick a STEM-related job. So you know STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math, right? Uh, leave me alone. So put in, you know, okay, so something related to science. So let's say you're thinking biologist or nurse or whatever. I don't know, it doesn't matter what, cosmetologist. You might be thinking that's silly, but cosmetology does involve chemistry. Cosmetologist, and then type in the location. Now you can put Vineland, you can put the zip code 08360 or 361. You can put in somewhere you want to live. You can put in Philadelphia or Honolulu, I don't care. Pick any location you want, some place you think you want to work in the future. Pick a job that you think you want to have that's related to STEM. And then you're going to search. And here are the jobs. Look, in Greensboro, North Carolina, I put in Vineland. Why is there no jobs in Vineland for cosmetologists? All right, don't do cosmetologists. Let's do nurse. There will definitely be openings for nurse. Licensed practical nurse. Nursing. LPN, LPN, all LPN. A registered nurse. Here we go. We'll click on this one. So these are all actual jobs, right? 
and this is useful if you think you know what job you want for the future click on these right um, and then go through here and here is what I want you to look up right all the information is here some of these may not be available some of them may so this is eighth grade right eighth, I can't type eighth grade so I want you to type uh, the pay how much is it pay uh, the title I guess I should put that first so do title first title of the job location this one I think was Bridgeton I uh, don't use the one I just chose um, what else uh, how much it pays uh, so see this little what you can expect that's like about the job so about the job so what are you going to do in the job who are you going to take care of long-term patient relationships blah blah there's a lot of nonsense in here but if you look through it some of it will actually give you real information uh, shifts are typically 10 to 12 hours there's real information you know this stuff long-term patient relationships build meaningful relationships that's all nonsense that doesn't tell you anything about the job but then there's more vet more useful stuff farther down right so you're gonna work 10 to 12 hour shifts three to four days per week um, and nurses do that a lot weird shifts uh, police do power plant workers do um, a lot of jobs where there have to be people there all the time they may work 12 hour shifts instead of eight although both go into 24 so it doesn't really matter anyway so about the job um, and then education what do they want obviously they wanted you to go to nursing school and pass your boards um, and then uh, experience what kind of experience do they want right how much experience do they want and then other info just some other piece of info that you found about the job here uh, some details about this position look training may take place in a facility or training clinic with a class blah 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 uh, you must have a flexible schedule etc etc so some interesting stuff there so to add in some information this one doesn't have a lot of information some don't give the pay for certain types of jobs uh, those are usually jobs that pay pretty well and they don't want to have to compete with other businesses so they don't list the exact number and it also may need be negotiable based on the salary if it says negotiable based on experience or something like that um, then go ahead and type that in right so you're gonna answer as many of these as you can for one job that could you pick a job that involves some sort of stem um, and, and you know I mean there's a lot of jobs that involve STEM so you know you can be a little bit liberal with that but uh, and give me this information about the job so type that on a Google Doc put your name put your uh, class period and then submit it on Google Classroom alright if you guys have questions type them in there and I will answer them also occasionally I will be on Google Meets uh, which I think they're calling Hangouts instead of Meets now right is that the thing they're doing uh, Let's see Google so I think they got rid of meets I don't see it anymore now I see hangouts um, so I think this encompasses it but anyway I will I will put like an announcement at the top of the Google classroom of the name of the room and then you can come in and talk to me if you have questions all right that's it uh, this assignment it will be for Wednesday and uh, should be done by Thursday so uh, you know go ahead get started it shouldn't take you very long and uh, stay home and be safe.